Hello everyone, Alex here from WarnOffKeys.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can find and update within one single MongoDB query. In a previous video, I showed you how you can specifically find certain documents within your collection, and in a different video, I showed you how you can update certain documents. Now we're going to look at a powerful Mongo function called find one and update. So going inside of my Mongo database here, we see that I have one document. This is going to be a user with an email, a username, and a password. We're going to want to find and update on this specific user using one specific query. So going back into my project, a link to a repository that has this project will be in the video description. That way you can clone it and code along with me. But to get started, let's review our user schema real quick. We see an email, a username, and a password, which are required strings. Pretty basic schema here. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Inside of our main file, all we're doing right now is just importing our schema, connecting to Mongo, and then console logging saying that we're connected to Mongo. Let's say that we want to use find one and update. So we can say await user schema dot find one. And we see we have a couple different options here. We can find one and delete, find one and remove, find one and update. So this is going to take in two required arguments. There is an optional third argument, which I'll cover here at the end, but the first two arguments is going to be the conditions or the filter. And the second one is going to be the actual update. So if we look at the tooltip here, we see conditions. That's the first argument. Then update is the second argument. Within here, we're going to have a specific search query, basically. So let's say we want everyone that has a username of Joe. I can then say username Joe. And so we're going to find the first document within our collection that matches this exact document right here was, was just a username Joe, and then we're going to update it. So in here, we can say username is now Frank. So now if I were to run this, so if I save the file, and I run this with a node index.js, we get a warning here. We'll talk about that in a second. But if we go back into MongoDB and I click on find, we now it says username is Frank. Of course, this is very similar to our actual update function, but find one and update has additional benefits. Let's say that I were to go in and I were to delete this. So if I hover over this document, there's a trash icon on the right, and I can click on delete, and now it's no longer here. So the cool thing about find one and update is that we can actually insert this or update. So a third argument is going to be another object, and I want to say upsert is true. This is a combination of update and insert. However, now that we have this, we want our full document to be the second object, and then we want any type of unique identifiers to be within the filter up here. So the full document requires an email, so we can pass that in. So we can say email is test at email.com. Our username will still be Frank here. And then our actual password is just going to be password. Now, typically, you're going to have the same username here because we're looking to essentially say, find a document that matches this query right here in the first object. And if you don't find it, then just insert this document right here. But if you do find a document within our collection that does match this query right here, we are going to essentially update whatever that document is with all this information here. And so you will see some duplicate code when it comes to the actual username here or whatever your unique identifier is, because if this does not exist, then it's going to insert it thanks to our upstart statement right here. And so you will have to have this entire object here because this is what will be inserted if your document doesn't exist. So to show that, I can save the file. And again, there's nothing inside my collection at the moment. I can then run my code. If I minimize my console, I'll click on find again. We now see this right here. And so we got our username, we got our email, we got our password. We have our unique ID, which is automatically generated for us. But however, let's say that we had some type of variable here that said let password equals uh, new pass. And then this password here, we can pass in password. And because we're using ES6, we can actually not repeat ourselves. And so this will make sure that it understands that password is the name of the key within this object, but also it's going to use the value of the variable labeled password. And so this and this are the exact same thing. So just for simplicity, I'm gonna keep it like this. So if I save this and I run the code again, we are then going to look through our entire collection for a document that matches our filter here or our condition. 
And then afterwards, if it does exist, we are going to update that entire document to match this. But if it doesn't exist, it's going to then insert this document here. The reason for that is upsert right here. So going back into Mongo, if I click on find, keep in mind that our current password is just password. We now see a new pass. Now, a couple more things I want to show you real quick is that we can actually store our results. So const result equals this, and I'm going to console log the result. So now if I save this and I run this again, we are going to get our actual document here. However, let's say we want to change our password back to password. If I save this and I run this one more time, we still see new pass, which was our previous password. So by default, find one update is going to return what was currently inside of the collection, unless within our options argument here, which is our third argument, we can pass in new is true. So now currently it, our password actually is password. If I refresh our database, we see that right here. However, if I go back and I change, change this to something that we haven't used before, so just ABC123, if I save this, if I run this here, we now see our password is ABC123 because this new property right here is going to return the actual updated documents after we've ran our query. And the last thing I wanna show you is that we get this deprecation warning, mongoose find one and update and find one and delete without the use find and modify option set to false are deprecated. So to fix this, we can go inside of our Mongo file and we see a couple different options here. So I can use the use find and modify property here VS Code will autocomplete that, and it's saying without the use find and modify option set to false, and so this has to be set to false. Now, if I save this and I run the code again, we now see no more warning, and so we'll keep that there for future use. And this is how you're going to find an update, but more importantly, how you're going to upsert a certain document. This is something that I use very frequently within my projects, and it's a very useful function to know. Thanks for watching this MongoDB tutorial. If you need help or have a video request, feel free to leave a comment down below or ask in the Worn Off Keys Discord, which will be linked in the video description. If you want to learn more about MongoDB, you can consider clicking on one of the videos you see on your screen now.